What every disability policy holder who has stenosis needs to know about filing their initial application for benefits. You may have purchased your disability insurance policy on your own or through your employer with the hopes that you'd never need to file for disability benefits. But if your doctor has told you that you can't work anymore or that it's time to apply for your disability benefits, you should take the following steps before you stop working and apply for benefits. First, get a copy of your disability insurance policy. How does your policy define disability, occupation, or self-reported conditions? You need to understand that you've got to prove before you stop working and apply for benefits. And you need to understand if there are any limitations in your coverage. Your policy may limit conditions that are based on subjective complaints without objective evidence of a diagnosis. You should also get a copy of your medical records. Review them. What do they say about the objective basis for your diagnosis? What do they say about your report of symptoms? What do they say about your restrictions and limitations? If your doctor just doesn't support your claim, you may have to find a new doctor before you apply for disability benefits. You should get a copy of your personnel file to see if your spinal stenosis has affected your work performance. Your productivity may have suffered because you have a limited ability to use your hands, walk, sit, or stand for any length of time. You also should get a copy of your job description. Now, you haven't insured your job, you've insured your occupation. How does your policy define occupation? Is it how your occupation is performed for your employer in the local economy or in the national economy? You need to know that because if it's the national economy, you'll want to get the Dictionary of Occupational Titles description of the physical duties of your occupation. Why? You're going to create your own description of your physical duties with an explanation of how your symptoms impact your ability to do your occupation. You want to give that to your doctor. Your doctor is going to be asked to prepare a report by the disability insurance company or fill out an attending physician statement form. They're going to be asked to explain the objective basis of the diagnosis, the objective basis of the restrictions and limitations, and the objective reasons why you can't perform some or all of the material and substantial duties of your occupation. The doctor's going to need that information from you to accurately fill out these forms. You might also want to prepare a pain diary that explains your pain and the side effects of medication. Don't forget to give real-world examples of how your spinal stenosis symptoms interfere with your ability to do things on a daily basis and at your occupation. I know that it's difficult to make that decision to apply for disability benefits. And the disability application process is confusing and overwhelming. It's designed so that you and your physician make mistakes that can result in the delay or even a denial of your benefits. I know how to prepare and file a winning shock and all disability application package that leaves the carrier little reason to question your disability claim. Call me today at 727-894-3188 to learn more about filing your initial disability application for the benefits you deserve. If the disability insurance company has denied your claim or terminated your benefits, don't delay, call me today. If you have an ERISA disability policy, you'll only have 180 days in which to file an appeal or you can lose your right to get your benefits. Remember, disability insurance carriers are in the business of collecting premium. They're not in the business of paying benefits. They'll use any reason to deny your claim. You owe it to yourself and your family to get help. Call me today at 727-894-3188 for a complimentary consultation. I can help you get the disability benefits you deserve regardless of where you live in the United States. I look forward to speaking to you about your claim.